Hello everybody, welcome to a video in which I will be explaining everything about bees. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with a friend, if you enjoy it and find it useful. So now you're probably wondering why am I going to talk about bees, it's because, well, I'm desperate. I'm desperate for video ideas and this is what I've come to. So now, basically, let's talk about the bee itself. The bees are these very wrongly sized, um... The bees are these very largely sized uh, things that basically just make honey, and they usually go into their hive, or their bee nest. You can build a beehive, but I'll explain more about that uh, later. Okay, I should put that anyways. Oh no, wait. Okay, there. So now, basically, by the way, this has everything to do with bees. So, basically, as you can see, the bees here, they'll constantly go around and try to pollinate flowers, and they'll go into the hive. Now, if I open my debug menu, you can see something with bee nest at the right side. It has targeted block, if you're wondering. And, oh my. And it says that the honey level is 5. Now, what is a honey level? A honey level basically just means how filled up a bee nest is. It can also be a beehive. However, you can make a beehive. However, to get bee nests, you can only silk touch them. If you want them as a rival, you can't make them. But basically, the the honey level, it will be zero, uh, and it will go from zero to five. If bees get any extra pollen, like this bee right now, as we can see right there, it will, it will literally do nothing. Because the honey level is stuck at five, so until the honey gets taken out, nothing's going to change. The honey level is still going to stay as five. And something that I want to, to show is... Is that you can actually... That you can actually breed bees. With flowers. And this bee is probably how big a bee would be in real life. Maybe, maybe much bigger though. But basically you can lead them and there's actually two advancements leading to bees. What do you think more? Sticky situation, bee our guest, and total bee location. But I won't get into much detail as advancements don't really matter. But basically, as you can see, these are tons of bees. And they're all pollinating this one flower. How much pollen does this flower have? Seriously. But basically, at night time, bees will go into their hive and they won't do anything. They won't leave until it's daytime. And I think when it's raining and maybe thundering, they'll also go... Maybe thundering, raining, I'm sure, but thundering, I'm not that sure, although I'm sure. Like, why would they be able to do it with rain if they can't do it with thunder? It doesn't make any sense. Also, by the way, this is a natural island, if you look. Coordinates. Stupid rain, anyways. We. So now, how would you want to deal with the issue of them sleeping for like 10 minutes? Now, well, yes, you could just constantly sleep. It's kind of annoying, especially if you want to do some like grinding. So it's really annoying. And basically, you can go to somewhere like the Nether or the Ended and make them work there. Now, it's really hard to get them there, and you can actually make an automatic farm using redstone. It's actually one of the easiest. I don't know how to build it, so you can search up for tutorials about that on YouTube. For, like, an automatic honey farm. Although I don't really see what, what, what the use would be. But, oh my, are they going to enter the end? Okay, you can fight the ender dragon. I didn't kill the ender dragon yet, so yeah, you can fight it. I mean, yeah, if you check. These are my advancements. Do not... I, I, I definitely didn't uh, didn't uh, kill the warden as a joke. And don't question how I got all of this. It's fine. Anyways. So basically, now, how do you collect honey? You collect it with a glass bottle. It has to be empty. It can't be something like a water bottle or a potion or already filled in honey. So now, I'm just going to show this in survival. Now, this is what's gonna happen if you do it without uh, without placing a um, 
Hey, what's its name? Oh, yeah, campfire or soul campfire. All the bees are gonna get very mad at you. And and they won't stop being mad at you until 25 seconds. Why is the game lagging? Okay, so yeah, I need to run like this for about 25 seconds. Because if the bees sting you, just like in real life, they'll actually die. Eventually. They'll die after like 2 or 3 minutes. Dude, you don't have to be so mad. If you're wondering how many health points they have, they have 10. Don't you dare. They should be peaceful now. Oh, okay. So yeah, you could just do something like that. It's pretty annoying. But now, the honey level is back to zero, as we can see. And an axe is the fastest thing to mine it. And if you have something like Silk Touch, which I should have. Basically, by the way, if you break this, the bees are still going to get mad, even if you use a campfire. The bees, oh no way, they're, oh no way, they're actually going to be fine. The bees are actually still in here. So, for example, if you want to port your bees to, like, the nether or the end, even, or just somewhere random in the overworld, um, you can do it like this. However, it will require silk touch. Do you know that there's a 30% chance that will actually give me hunger? Okay, but um, if you eat a raw chicken, but basically, so now, as you can see, if we place it back, the bees should be in there. They actually don't get mad for some reason. But you saw them go in there. So basically now, what are the uses of honey? Well, it can be used as a food source and... Let's say this. Fun fact, in Java, um, it's only in Java, but the slow falling, the arrow slow falling actually exists, but it's only in Java, sadly. Also, the potion of decay only exists in bedrock, and the arrow of decay. It's basically just an enhanced withering effect. But basically, so now, let's say that we have some really good effects. Also, by the way, um, um, oh yeah, I'm just gonna turn down the chunks to... Eight. So the game stops lagging. But basically, let's say that um that basically we got hit with poison. Well yes, we could just drink milk to get rid of the poison. We we don't want to lose our, our other effects. So what do we do? We can drink honey, which will not only fill our hunger, but will also only remove the poison. So it's useful in that scenario, although there aren't really that many scenarios where something like that would happen. But now when we look at the honey level, it's at 2. But basically now, what can you do with um, with honey? Basically, um, as I will show, if you play something like a campfire, and it can be a soul campfire or a normal campfire. Now, I'm just going to show this, because, well, yeah. As you can see, the bees don't get mad. And it even gives us the advancement. And see? The bees just came out there, and they aren't mad at all. It's because we were using a campfire, and for some reason, the honey particles are stuck. By the way, I realized something. You know my video when I was talking about the wither and basically how you can make a soul campfire without entering the nether world because it's technically possible if you get the soul sand from the warden monument? 
Well, that means you can also get soul soiled. Because you can just break the campfire. Wow, I'm just breaking the necessity of the nether. But basically, honey, it can be used as a food source, although it's... It's not that good, it's like... If I had to put it on something like a tier list, it would be like... From a scale of A to F, from a scale of S to F, it would be something like a C or D, it's... It gives an okay amount of hunger, but it doesn't give that good saturation. It gives a really low amount of saturation. Okay, fine, not like really low, but low. And am I still on easy? I am still on easy. So now, basically, by the way, if you're wondering, if you grow a sapling of whatever type, except for nether saplings, except for things like warped fungi or crimson fungi, right next to a sapling, they have to be two blocks away from the flower, there's a 5% chance that a bee nest will actually spawn. So you don't have to go exploring for one if you're in, like, an old world, and you still want bees. Have I mentioned yet that, um, that, uh, that if you put them in the nether or end, um, they'll endlessly work, no matter what? I think I've already mentioned that, but, um, okay, our, our bees here are really mad. It's breakable, right? Portal. Very surely, I'm very sure it used to be breakable. No. Anyways, so now basically, I'm just gonna throw that. So when I enter the end, I'll see that. So basically, you can technically get infinite bee nests, which is pretty cool. Now let's see the honey level four. When it reaches five, it'll actually have honey. However, it doesn't show any signs. You can only see from the debug menu. And in bedrock, there's sadly no way to tell. But basically, now what can you do with honey? Well, with four honey balls, you can build, actually even just, just in your inventory, you can build a honey block. And with a honey block, you can, you can basically just stop yourself from falls, like, this is why we have the cobblestone. The planks are for another reason, but basically, let's say we want to do something like this. Um, ignore this. It also has a slimy effect. We can stop our fall. Um, I just, I think I just have to keep trying. And it'll actually give you, an, it will, it will show when it, when it gives you an advancement or just makes a sound. Okay, well I guess I'll just... By the way, you can insta-break it, so that's cool. Sliding down the honey block. Even the subtitle says so. So basically, by the way, you can reduce your fall damage with this. You you can, if you're wondering. So, like, for example, I'll just show this right now. If you're wondering why, it's because apparently we're, why, I'm, why I'm not, like, just bridging up. It's because the computer that I use, for some reason, just has some weird control that won't let me do that. So basically, we're at, what, Y level? 78. And the ground here is 72, so we should take, well, 3 damage. Right? 3. To be exact. Okay, so we should take about 4 damage. Well... You only take one. It's kind of like a hay bale, but just not as good. Also, by the way, if you were wondering, don't worry. You can actually do this in a crafting table. You can actually turn the honey. You can turn it back. It's... it's It has uh, no real, like, shape. So, yeah, you can do that with anything. You can turn it back, which is really cool, in my opinion. By the way, you can... You can actually eat it with full uh, hunger, because Mojang realized they could be used to get rid of poison. But basically now, you can also get honeycomb if you shear. Honeycomb. Now, in the past... With four honeycomb, I shall get this. 
It used to just be a decoration block. I'll just do it my in uh, my inventory. It used to just be a decoration block. That was all the honeycomb uh, really could do. However, it can be used for some traps, literally. But basically, now wax used to only be used for the honeycomb block, which is just for decoration. However, now. Now, you know how copper oxidizes, right? Well, if you put this, not only do you get the advancement wax on, but it will actually never oxidize. It's kind of like the... Wait, what's it named? That... That that statue. I think it's in... London? I'm not really sure. Maybe? Basically, um... Um, the, the co it was made out of copper, and it oxidized. Well, basically, in Minecraft, if you use wax, the copper block literally won't ever oxidize. And if you, and if you only did that for the advancement, don't worry. You can right-click, and you'll get the wax off. So you can keep copper in its state of whatever color you want it to be, or whatever oxidization. So basically, now, what's the final use of honey? Okay. Well, wax. Anyway, honeycomb. Why do I always say it as wax? It's literally honeycomb. But basically, the final use is that you can build something called a bee nest. Oh no, wait, beehive. Basically, what does a beehive do? Also, by the way, um, if you're wondering, um, if you place a random beehive and then break it. You can actually get back. Whereas you can't get with a bee nest without silk touch. By the way. The bees will bees will leech onto this uh, even if they don't seem to, and if you break it, yep, they'll get mad. They'll get real mad. Wait, I'll try and fight it. Hey, get away! Okay, you know what? It's time to silk touch a bee! Okay, that was horrible, but basically... Now, you don't need silk touch uh, for this. But basically, now I'm just gonna show one last thing. Now... Bees will will actually make honey in this, as you can see. There's a honey level. It just says that it's zero because no bee has actually latched onto it. No bee has gone mad. But basically, now we'll just put this around flowers. So maybe a bee will actually want to get to, into this. Dude, it has flowers. Oh my. Here. There. Now see? The the bee should eventually latch onto this beehive, I think. Um you should. By the way, if you're wondering. Oh my. The bee will enter its hive to be safe. By the way, they'll actually do a fun uh, little animation to try and get you. If they hit you. Oh wait, it's peaceful. Oh wait, um, wait, I forgot to mention. That um that in that normal or hard it will give you poison. Skeleton, seriously. Die anyways. Where are you be? But basically. 
If you hit, it will actually give you poison. The, the time will actually vary from, uh, you can actually die to a bee sting, which is actually pretty crazy in my opinion. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, why on earth would I want tons of bees? There's probably really no point. Well, you can get honey for decoration, food... Like, like, if you're just starting. Honey blocks to, like, save you from fall damage if you don't already have wheat. And basically, it can really just... I don't know. It can really just help a lot. Okay, fine. If I'm being honest, honey isn't that useful. Oh, wait. I, I should demonstrate its effect. Okay, don't get mad. Now sting. Sting me. The bee died. Oh, because it already stung me. Wow, it happens that quick. I didn't think it would happen that quick, seriously. Okay, but basically now sting me. Now, as you can see, this poison with honey, it will remove the poison. By the way, you can actually stock up saturation with this. Well, guys, honestly, that's going to be it. Really, there really isn't much to bees, but I mean, I decided to just make this video because, I mean, like, who doesn't love bees? I mean, but who doesn't love beef? That's the question. That's the real question. Yummy. Anyways, well, guys, that's going to be it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and... I'm not entering the end. Or will I? Goodbye!